Okay, hello people and welcome back to another video. Um, it's been a while. Um, this one is about the fuel injection and the fuel pump in particular. Um, so yeah, keep watching. Okay, so um, what's going on here in this video, I hear you ask. Um, the original BMW, when it came from the factory, um, when you turned the key on, uh, the fuel pump would run for about five seconds to prime the system, then it would shut off. Um, and as soon as you started the engine, the fuel pump would run again. Um, in my wiring diagrams, um, these ones here, um, as soon as you turn the key on, the fuel pump would run forever. Um, now that's fine because it pumps the fuel uh, back to tank and normally you've started your bike straight away but some people uh, they want to have the original BMW system um, which adds a level of complexity um, but I'm going to explain how to do it it's going to be a bit tricky because I don't have a stripped back loom of wires that I can show you um, so I'm going to show you the basics and uh, hopefully you can follow along from there okay so what you're going to have to do is find your fuel injection relay it's this one here, um, the orange and black one, uh, five cables, but we're going to be using four. This middle one here, which is coiled up, uh, we can forget about that one. That's history. Um, um, in your um, M unit, um, on your ignition output, which I believe is the fourth one down, um, you're going to have four cables coming out of there, or one cable joining to four. Um, you've got to find the one that goes to the fuel pump and disconnect that. Um, that one is then going to join to this uh, green with a red trace, um, which is, you know, I guess if you do it in that orientation, it's the bottom bottom one. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take um, this top one here, which is a green with a yellow trace, and this other big red one here. You're going to join those together, and that's going to go into your ignition uh, with all those other cables. And the next one we're going to worry about is this yellow with a brown trace. Now this one will join into our ignition um, on pin 7. So we get our ignition module. Pin 7 is not used. Uh, well it is going to be used now. That's going to be for our fuel pump. Um, so you're going to have to find the plug that comes on here. You're going to find this matching yellow with a brown trace. You're going to join it onto there. Bada bing, bada bang. Um, that's going to be how you do that. So I actually haven't tested this. Um, I don't have a bike in a stage of uh, wiring where I can test this. Um, so this is up to you guys. Um, if you can prove or disprove this wiring for me. Um, this is for Mr. Corner Custom. He's been on to me for a while. And I've been fluffing around. And I've finally done this video for him. So hopefully that helps. Um, this stuff here, she's just sp spaghetti. We're trying to make the whole reason of a cafe racer is we try and simplify things. Um, so yeah, any questions down below, and um, I'll just show you what else I've been up to um, in the past two years. So November 2021, I turned 50, and uh, my wonderful partner helped me get this for my 50th. It's a uh, 2021 Africa Twin standard model. But, uh, you see what she's missing? It's the DCT, dual clutch transmission. Absolutely fantastic to ride. Just got a few bag with a few um, tools, zip ties, a couple of spanners, a um, bit of food, bit of drink, a couple of muesli bars, some money if I run out of fuel. <laughs> um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, listen to music, take phone calls, it's fantastic. So 
So anyway, uh, just a short wee video. Hope that helps a few of you out. If you do want to uh, rewire um, so your fuel pump is not running all the time, you don't have to. But uh, if you want to do it. Uh, coming to the end of our summer here in New Zealand. And uh, about time too. It's just been too bloody hot. We just had three months of 25 to 30 degree days. And it's just hard to sleep at night. It's so hot. But uh, we're now officially in autumn and it's starting to cool a wee bit. But uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Questions, comments, criticisms down below. See you in the next one.